it was an incredibly exciting election night, so close between these two candidates in a district that, quite frankly, there never should have been a question that the Republican should have won. But instead, they're sending a Democrat from the heart of Trump country. It took a little longer than we thought, but we did it. Democrat Connor Lamb with a stunning upset over Republican Rick Saccone. I've heard, Connor, the job you're running for is the House of Representatives. So if you get down there, do the job. Do the job. Okay, I will. Mission accepted. NBC declaring the candidate the apparent winner early this morning in a western Pennsylvania district that backed President Trump by 20 points in 2016. We need Republicans. The whole world, remember that. They're all watching. This is a very important race. The president even traveling to Pennsylvania in the campaign's final weekend. Connor Lamb, Lamb the Sham, right? Lamb the Sham. He's trying to act like a Republican, so he gets, he won't give me one vote. Lamb's opponent hitting Democrats hard in the final days of the campaign. They have a hatred for our president. I tell you, Many of them have a hatred for our country. And I'll tell you some more. My wife and I saw it again today. They have a hatred for God. But Lamb won anyway in a very close race, campaigning as a moderate on guns and opposing Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi, potentially giving Democrats a blueprint for winning back voters they lost in 2016. Do Democrats in Washington understand what working class Americans need right now? Uh, I believe they do. I believe they really do, the ones that I've talked to. Um, that's who our party has always been, and we're definitely getting back to that now. So this morning, Republicans in Congress are waking up very nervous based on last night's results. Democrats very excited about their chances of potentially taking back the House in the fall. But a little bit of an irony here, the district where we are in this race, this congressional seat will not exist in November because of a court ordered redistricting. They're going to redraw all the lines. So it's likely we're going to see both of these candidates back running again in November. Savannah. All right. A rematch, perhaps. Mm -hmm. Casey, thank you. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.